most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return with having. In order to do that, we all know about the tease of transformation that I created in my artwork. Unfortunately, someone has totally crashed my computer. And I'm pretty sure I know who did it. I'm pretty sure why they did it. Because they've been stealing my intellectual property. And their attitude, this guy's attitude, is if I can crash his computer, then I can take all his artwork and take it and use it for me, and he'll never know. The problem with that is that he doesn't own any of the artwork. So he's already committed a lot of crimes. He's committed copyright infringement. He's committed intellectual property infringement. He's committed identity theft in terms of trying to pretend to be me. And he's committed fraud in terms of trying to utilize things that aren't his. He's also committed cybercrime because he crashed the computer, stole documents, and is doing things like selling it out of his office. Or is he selling it out of the Staples store? Or maybe selling it out of the back part of the Dollar Tree. But the reality is I can put together this story based on the experience of what's going on around me and the activity that I'm experiencing. But at the same time, a motherfucking male bastard of Satan who works in law enforcement might be wanting to take it from me and then trying to play like I never did any of this life. The liar in America is always that, a full-bred on liar who is trying to lie his way into something that's not his right. And I sit there and look and go, did you think God was not paying attention to you? Because as far as I know, God has kept me mainly ahead of you, except for when he wants you to get caught.